I swear to you, I did do it. I did not do it at all. I didn't know. Don't you even dare to lie about it. John, after me, you remorselessly went back home to do the same thing to Mama. A blind widow. How dare you? What has come over you? How can you even believe that? That I will poison those snacks? What would be my game? Freedom. You want the freedom to go away and end what? Just stop it! Stop for a moment and think. If freedom from the crisis in our family is what I desire, why would I want to kill any of you to achieve that? I mean, I can simply just go to any big city, join the girls that live properly and live life on the first place without having to soil my hands with blood. My own blood! Without killing us, we will be a big scare on your conscience wherever you go. The thought of us will never allow you to enjoy your freedom. That's why you did it. Deny it. Deny it, Chama. Assuming you were right, which do you think will be the biggest scare to my conscience? Abandoning both of you? Okay. Or killing my own blood brother and my mother. Which? Listen, Chama, I don't ever want to set my eyes on you. Again, whatever happens, henceforth, I don't want you getting involved in my case. If they wish to roast me alive, get away. Let them do it. Just pray. Pray that nothing happens to Mama. Pray that she survives just like my some men who ate my own snacks did. Just pray, Chama. Pray! Mama, Sokoto's song was awful. Mm. But I thank God I'm back. It's finally over. Woo! And Mama, Woo! I didn't come back the way I left. Okay. Mama, I'm back with my NYC certificate. Take it in! 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 Take it Papa, I'm back. I'm back. Wow. I missed a lot. Huh? Your father. Papa, look at this. Wow. It's done. This calls for celebration. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, thank you, Papa. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Go. Papa, I missed everything. Yeah. The loving company of my family. Yeah. We share your feeling, my son. Yes, it's mutual. Oh, Papa, that was you. why I left as early as possible this morning. Really? To know Panta. To get the best of my wine. Oh. Yes, for us to celebrate with. Brother, that's not all. Papa slaughtered his biggest he could. Made Mama and I prepare you a huge meal. What? All that he did before he left for Lopanta. Papa, <laughs> my son. 
you, you, you did that? Yes. But what, what did you do that for? Oh, my son. Let me tell you. Those who be mourned with somebody. Those who cry and cry bitterly with somebody when he has problems. They never forget to rejoice with him when good things happen to him. Exactly. Today, his majesty will be here. Elders, my fellow elders of the royal cabinet, they will all come over here to party with us. Party? Yes, yes party. Because you have made us proud. Yes. And your father and I pleaded with the elders of Ihube to join us in a small party to celebrate you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Miss you all, Mama. What a celebration. Yes, so, Papa. Oh, Papa. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Let's go inside. Woo! Yes, Papa, I can't leave. What was the day I left? Oh, Mama. Oh, Mama. My son, my son, Papa, your son is bad. Your son is through with his national service. You are sure that this son that is meant to be greater than his father. Papa, thank oh. God, thank God that many. Hey, hey, hey! Papa, one minute, let me let me pay the back my hair. Pay, 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 pay. Welcome to the People's Palace. Yeah. Osmond and uh, Arinze. I invited both of you here with your fathers for something very important to me. It is so important to me that I am today breaking a tradition I've maintained since I ascended this throne. My next birthday is five months away. But I've decided not to wait until then. What I need to do today must be done. Today, not in five months' time. Osmond, your majesty. Your father has been my own since I ascended this throne of my father's in my youthful age. Without your father, I don't know how I could have been able to rule this vast kingdom. Thank you, Igwe. Yeah, my thank you, thank you. You will live long. <sighs> Arinze, Your Majesty. Your father, Enua, is a trusted friend. You see this man here? I will carry his friendship down to my grave. <laughs> your Wee. Majesty, he will live forever. You live long, Your Majesty. If only these fools knew what I'm doing this for. If only they know what I'm setting them up for. <laughs> That's why I am decided to appreciate both of you. Yeah. 
what you have in your hands are appointment letters to my oil servicing company on a monthly salary of 200,000 naira and just two weeks ago. He could have just told me and I would do it. This is a job that does not give space for failures or surprises. Is it something I can trust you guys to pull off for me? Yes, you are just... Yes. Blood on your hand! Oh my god! What did you do to, to my wife? What did you do to my wife? Shut up! Find out what you can decide, okay? Your tutorial venue. Thank you. Thank you once again for paying the high fees they charge for me to come here for intensive training in preparation for my forthcoming exams. Thank you. Come on, Chioma. What sacrifice didn't you and our parents make to see me through school? Hmm? Your mates are in their third year in the university now. And you had to stay back so that our parents' lean resources can, can see me through school first. And now that God has blessed me with a job, what sacrifice wouldn't I make for the good of all of you? In fact, if I had my way, I would have sent you to Oxford University straight. Or maybe Yale. Huh? I know. <laughs> I know you will do anything for my joy. Of course. For the joy of our family. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. I promise I will make you, Papa and Mama, very proud by the time I write my exams and come out in flying colors. <laughs> I know you're very intelligent. Thank you. So, Yes. When we finish for the day... Ah, Chief Oba. Excuse me. Okay. Good afternoon, Chief. I should proceed to Ihube General Hospital. I hope... I hope Osman is fine. My parents? What about my parents? 
Okay, okay. I I'm coming right away with my younger sister. Yes. Yes. Okay. What did he say happened to our parents? He said he would tell me once I get there. What is that supposed to mean? Last phone is off. I saw his mama's. God, I just. Um, yes, I've read it. You see, none of the neighbors who stopped me while I was driving past your compound and begged me to help take your parents to the hospital could actually tell me what really happened. See, all they could tell me was that they, they heard a gunshot eh? and the sound of a, 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 a car driving on a high speed from your compound. By the time they could get to your house to know what was going on, they saw your father shot dead and your mother. What? It's come down, bro. Easy. You see? Thank God, because by the time we got here, mom was still alive. All right. Um, the doctor and his team took her in to for some checkup. Hey! Yeah. 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 Doctor, what about the Oh, calm down, calm down. I know how devastated you may be right now, but I tell you, there's still hope for your mother. In minutes. Yes. Uh, thanks to this young man who rushed her here on time. We have successfully stopped the bleeding and the nurses have taken her to the ward. So come down. Okay. No, okay. Come yeah. 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 to my mother. Doctor, what is this bandage over her face? Oh, they haven't told you? Ah, uh, well, um, you really have to be strong about this, okay? Strong about what? Huh? Was she acid attacked? Uh, no, uh, but whosoever that uh, murdered your father also pierced your mother's eyes. I once again accept my sympathy for the tragedy in your family. Uh, it seems um, there is a good news on your mother's death. Mm. Yes, one of the eyes can be salvaged. Really? Oh God. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. You should act fast before it gets late. What do we have to do? Act mm. mm. Uh, well, a complex uh, surgery has to be conducted on that particular eye within 36 hours or she could go blind completely. I have contacted the only hospital that has such uh, facilities to take care of such cases and they are ready to receive her, but with a caveat. Caveat? Doctor, what caveat, please? Uh, well, they will want to have a deposit of 1.5 million naira from you before they can accept to offer her such facility.
Lord, your majesty, thank you so much for, for your kindness. Thank you. No one can help us, God. Are you sure that the people Dr. Sam recommended are competent enough to uh, handle this kind of delicate operation? I have no choice but to trust them, Your Highness. The peculiarities of this situation gives me no other option. Your Majesty. No, 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 no. no. See. If your mother needs to be taken abroad, I'm ready to Take care of it all. See, you are more of family to me than just mere subjects. Your Majesty, I, I know, I understand. But going by the doctor's expressed professional opinion, taking that option means that my mother will go completely blind before the necessary arrangements would have been concluded. I wouldn't want that to happen to her. But after what happened to my father. Yes. Your Highness. I understand. I understand, my boy. I understand. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. All right. Good luck. Thank you very much. I'm so good. Thank you. My warmest regards and condolences to your mother and your sister. Do you hear that? Do you hear Tears and sorrow. We are crying every day. The pain is too much to bear. Help us, Lord. Can't you see the pain? refused to start and I'm supposed to be at the hospital right now this guy is supposed to be in perfect condition huh? yeah um, you know what why don't you call a mechanic to check it out I don't have that time I have to be at the hospital okay, now so I just take a taxi you know what? um Arise, what come with me let me give you a lift down to the hospital okay before proceeding to the bank because I want I have a transaction to make for my majesty I'm going to the bank first really yes then hop in let's go come on thank you very much You know, I took 
hopefully I get to we'll get to talk. Yeah, know? sure, sure, sure. So that you can also link me to other businesses. You know, so that I, I'll be making small, small money like is you guys. Now. Is that what you're saying in a low tone? Ah, well, chill, my bro. I know you guys are doing well. Catch it's just you, that catch you, I know everything is step by step. Mm -hmm. ah. hey, shut, shut, shut up! Okay. One more word from you, I'll blow your fucking head off. Smooth. Put your hands on your head. Lower your head. Smooth. Fast! Put it with me, please. Lower your head, please. Please, Osmond. Please. Please. Last month, have you done it? Yes, sir. How? The briefcase is now where you wanted it to be. Good. And you are with the whole money? Yes, it is. Very good. Now, I'll hurry to the place we agreed. Your guy and I are waiting for you there. I have your visa to Brazil, as His Majesty promised. Sorry, Stanley. I have a change of plan. Meaning what? Meaning your. I knew standing a train set on a wall. The chief royal guard thing was just a cover up. Am I wrong? I don't know what you're talking about, Osmond. Do you really think that after being blackmailed three times by men like His Majesty, that a hard man like me will allow things to continue that way? No, no, no. no my guy. It's not possible. See. Things about you and His Majesty that convinced me that, that if I dare show my face there as you want, that this episode will not end up with a Brazilian visa and some dollars in my hands. And that of my guy, but over a dead body. Listen, I don't know why His Majesty blackmailed us into doing what we did for him to his best friend's family. And I can't take the risk of waiting to find out. So, you see, for my safety, I'm going away for good. I'm going far away from Ihube, never to return again till I die. Thank you for ruining my life. And thank His Majesty too. And I hope you guys will be brave enough to look my father in his face. And tell him what you did to his only son. I hope you will. Shit! This is not happening. This is not happening! How did this guy know about my past? How? Um, uh, what is it? What? What did Osman say?
I'll use this phone be off now four times. Not now, people know. Not now. Uh, where is your brother? I've not seen him. Like you said, I've uh, thought two hours ago. He's coming. Uh, the eye hospital they just called, they've not seen a yard. They will get it. They will get it in a short while, doctor. The last time I spoke with my brother on the phone, he told me that he was just leaving the Igwe's palace with the $4,000 he gave him for that purpose. And so he will make the exchange at the bank and then make the payment in the same bank. They will get their last very soon, I promise you. That's okay. Her vital signs are getting stronger. She may regain her consciousness before the day runs out. What, what, what about her sight? Any form of stress on her may worsen the case of the one redeemable eye. My opinion, the only way to stop her not to be subjected to any form of emotional or physical stress is to wake up and see herself going where her sight will be regained, at least. And it all lies on you people on how fast you get the money. Excuse me. He, he drew a gun at me uh, and before I could say what, he, he snuck me out with a chemical. When I woke up, the money you gave me was gone, your majesty. I couldn't find him. Go oh, yes, officers. Your majesty, thank you for coming in and so short a space. Yeah. Okay. Right. Your majesty, go with the officers to the station and explain to them everything you've been trying to tell me. Perhaps they will understand you. you your Majesty, I, I, are you getting me arrested? It was Osmond. Officers, take him out, right? I do not want to see any stone left unturned in this investigation. Please. Your Majesty, we are going to do a thorough job. That I can promise you. No, no. Your Majesty, Your Highness, how are you doing? Help us, Lord. Can't you see the pain we are feeling? God, where are you? God, where are you? Who found this in your house? Is that Can't you see the pain? I'm being set up. Can't you see? I forget to say the car. Set up. Move out of there. You said you said you'll never abandon us, Lord. God, where are you? Please calm down, Your Majesty. Did I hear you say, calm down? My six hundred and ninety-six thousand dollars is gone. The guy I wanted is gone. God knows where. And all you can tell me is, calm down. Come on, Stanley. What's wrong with you? Have you become a soft buffoon or what? I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. No, but. That boy is a criminal. A criminal with $696,000 to his kitty. A knowledge of a plot. 
could make me taste the firing squad is the least thing I wanted when I started this whole affair. I do not want surprises. Least of all, this kind of dangerous surprise. All right. So you came back only to report a failure. You couldn't kill him with his useless friends so that we could use his corpse and finish a reason through the law. Now this story you came back with Your Majesty, I've already mobilized one of my best men to track him and kill him. And I am giving you my word that it will be done within days, not weeks. Assuming I believe you, how do we handle this new twist it has thrown in Ariza's side? How do we push our narrative that he murdered Osmond in order to steal my daughters? And you know that that's the only way we can be assured of getting a death sentence. And you know that the whole purpose of all of this Your Majesty, I suggest we change the narrative to kidnapping and possibly killing Osmond. And by the new anti-kidnapping law of the state, kidnapping is now a capital offense too. And I have already formulated a plan B based on the narrative. Without Osmond, Found or killed, my man will find and kill him. I am very sure of that. So I, I suggest we discuss about the new plans, Your Majesty. <laughs> Honestly, Your Majesty, I don't know. Osman made away with even the $4,000 he gave me for my mother's medical bills. Your Majesty, he took everything. Arrest. 
So, how come this briefcase was found in there if you were not the person that took it there? I don't know, Your Majesty. Find Osman and he will tell you everything. He knows what happened, Your Majesty. Have I wronged you or any member of your family? Look at him. Osman's father. Has he done anything wrong to you or any member of your family? You told us not long ago that you had nothing against Osman. What is it? Arise, did I not give you employment in my company? With salary and an official car just a few days ago. Did I not give you four thousand dollars cash for your injured mother? Arise. Why didn't you tell us that you needed more money? God. What will I say to convince you that I'm innocent? Say nothing, Arise. Osman is my son. I want to see him, even if he is dead already. Let me just see his corpse. Yeah. I don't need to be convinced of your innocence. I want to see my son. Where is he? Huh? Honestly speaking, no. I don't know where Osman is. As we speak right now, my mother is still waiting for me at the hospital to come back with the $4,000 His Majesty gave me for, for her operation to at least restore her sight in one of her eyes. And she has limited time for that. Else she will go permanently blind. My own mother, permanently blind. After what happened to my father today. I mean, oh no, even if I wanted to steal His Majesty's money, Will I do it in a way that would jeopardize my mother's health? Arise. For the sake of this scepter, this royal scepter of our forefathers, tell us where Osman is. Listen, if you want the money, ah, all of it. Take all of it. Take the entire money. See, I will swear. I will swear to you here and now that as soon as you do it, I will ask the police to leave you. To let you go. See, all we are after now is where is Osmond? Did you hear that? Arise. Osmond is my only son. I don't have another. I am old. The last time I achieved erection was six long years ago, if you must know. That means I cannot have children again. Please. Save my family from imminent extinction. I beg you, in the name of God. No, honestly speaking, I don't know. I have told you the truth and nothing but the truth. Your Majesty, I'm sorry. No, you're not. Officer, talk to this boy. 
talk to him until he confesses. Do everything you can. Use everything at your disposal. Break him and let him say the truth. If, if, if he passes out, revive him and continue. Continue relentlessly. Continue on a daily basis. Keep torturing him. Look, look, if the boy dies, he dies in the process. The pain is too yeah. much to bear. Help us, Lord. Can't you see the pain we are feeling? God, where are you? God, where are you? God, where are you? You said you never abandon us, love. God, where are you? Yes. Yes, it's me. I am Choma Inua. Who are you, please? Sergeant Uzuku from Inubi Police Station. How can I be of help? How can I help you? That's not possible. He attacked me. 
and dropped me in his car and he took the money and he also took the four thousand dollars his majesty gave to me he did it Apprehended and, and, and punished for his wickedness. Why? Why? Why be of all people, Chairman? What have I done to the devil that did this to me? What? Am I talking? Only God knows why what happened today happened. It's not for any human being to know. He alone knows. And it's fine because He alone can bring us justice. Yes, yes, you're right. God knows why. He may not, he may not know why. Chama. Call your father. I want to talk to him. Mama, let's let's not disturb Papa. He's he's actually busy at the moment. Chama, I 
think you should call your father. I want to talk to my husband, your father. At least to tell him that I'm awake. How is that a disturbance? I won't do it. Only what? Chama. Chama. I know. I know I cannot see your face. But I can hear it from your voice. I can also feel it. You are lying, aren't you? I don't know. I don't know. I want to talk to him. Oh I want to also talk to Arinze. Dial their number. Give me the phone. Do it now, John. I can't. I, I can't. Why? for various crimes. You told your mother this? No wonder. Well, she suffered a serious heart attack and that has affected her damaged sight. Sorry, your mother is He 
wasn't specific on that. And he didn't sound quite hopeful too. As I said earlier, you can see for yourself. They subjected me to another round of torture. When you left earlier, they are threatening to continue. Why? Why are they doing this? What do they really want? That I take responsibility for what I did not do. How can I do that, Chama? How can I? Please. Something needs to be done. Or they will kill me here. With the way they are going. Please help your brother. Help me. Help you? How? How do I help you? If His Majesty, as much as ought I work to them, to stop. This torture is happening on his express orders. Go to him. Plead with him on my behalf. Chama, you know me. You know that I can't even contemplate what they accuse me of. I'm innocent. Please, please go to his majesty and convince him as much. Please. I will. If you refuse to listen to me, what do I do then? There is only one person His Majesty can never say no to. The second richest man in this kingdom after him, Ichi Ozawa. He, Papa, and His Majesty were the best of friends that anyone can think of in the entire kingdom. According to their friendship, they started way back together when they were in primary school. It shows that it's more of a, a hardliner on issues, but I believe he will listen to you. At least, for God's sake, if you convince him, you have convinced his majesty. Speak to his conscience. Cry to him. Beg him. Just make sure you convince him. Please, Joe. Please.
already told him to keep the money. Let him keep the entire six hundred and ninety-six thousand dollars of mine. Let him release Osman and walk away a free man. Now, isn't that lenient enough? Isn't that? Your Majesty, that would have been the case if my brother is guilty as charged. What is he not saying? My brother is only a victim of a crime. <laughs> now, you are cruelty personified. Yes, that's what you are. You are dance! Throw this animal out of my life. If you ever, ever come round here, if I ever see you around this palace, now you break every ounce of this home, this useless home. Now, It's not just my king, he's more of a brother to me. 